Okay, gang, welcome back to a new one today. I'm gonna be going over how to adjust your settings on your shot cam uh, to bow hunt with, okay? Um, typically, these shot cams were made primarily to be mounted on your shotgun. And when they were first made, it was more for target shooting. Then hunters got their hands on them and they realized they could turn out some pretty cool footage and also track their shots with it. So uh, it can be very handy and they've since adapted and made a bow mount and you can throw this on your bow or crossbow even. Um, but there are some adjustings that you need to change in here. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it. First thing you're gonna do is uh, hold the button down on the back for five, six seconds, get that Wi-Fi on. Once that Wi-Fi is on, it'll be orange on both uh, lights. It'll be blinking on one and then give it a minute and the one will turn green and the other will stay orange. That means the Wi-Fi is ready to connect to. Go ahead and grab your phone, connect to the Wi-Fi. Now, once that is connected, you're gonna go into your shot cam app, all right? Hang on. Once you're in the app, you're gonna have the initial screen, which is just gonna be your uh, live view of the camera. I have an orange cap on it right now, so nothing's being shown. Uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is on the four uh, buttons on the bottom, you have the gears, the arrow uh, crosshairs, the video camera, and the play button. On the very left are the two gears. You're gonna click that, that's your settings. So once you're in settings, you have all these different uh, variables that you can change. Target, flying bird, shooting device, video format, all that. So we're going to adjust a few of these and make them set up to where we're bow hunting with them. Bow season starts next weekend, so we're going to get practicing with this today and make sure this camera's operating to how we want it to be. Target, flying birds. We're going to go in there and change that to ground game. All right, That's going to be anything that you're shooting with a bow or like if you're rifle hunting um, for deer, uh, coyotes, anything like that. Click save. As you can see at the top there, it's saved ground game. Shooting device. Semi-auto shotguns what it's set at now. For teal season, what I've been hunting... We're going to go down to bow slash crossbow, click that. Bunch of different options here, and they seem to add to this every year with their new mounts. Bow slash crossbow, press save. That is save. Video format, we're going to keep that the same. Um, that's just a default one-third speed. That's what we like. Um, I've never really adjusted with that, so we're going to keep that the same. So like I said, reticle, I actually do none when I bow hunt. You can mess with it and get it to line up with your bow. It's just kind of a pain in the ass, I think. Um, it's hard enough to get with your shotgun. It'd be even trickier with your bow. Um, I set my wake up sensitivity. I have this for everything, very sensitive. I just like the ability to barely tap that gun and get this camera activated. In this case with the bow, you want it more sensitive. It's a much lighter shot than it is a, a shotgun. Um, recoil sensitivity, uh, I think I set that to very sensitive as well. We'll set that. Recording time, I actually beef this up a little bit longer. I go longer, two times longer than normal. Um, because I like to follow that deer with my camera after I shoot it and uh, yeah it's a good way to kind of see where that deer goes you get a little bit in-depth view of what's happening after you made the shot and uh, it's kind of handy to have but otherwise that is it ground game bow slash crossbow reticle off wake up sensitivity very sensitive recoil sensitivity very sensitive recording time again this is just my preference uh, long two times the normal playback speed normal Everything else you can keep the same, and that is it. Press save, and this camera right here is ready to bow hunt with. Okay. So that's gonna wrap this one up. That's all it takes to get this guy going. Um, I'm gonna do another video here in a little while uh, regarding how I set this up on my bow, kind of go over the new bow mount. If you don't have one, um, I didn't know they had one. I initially started with uh, putting this on my stabilizer, and now this camera actually acts as my stabilizer, which is kind of interesting. But uh, in a whole nother video. Hope this guy, uh, hope this helped you guys out today. Uh, if you guys do use a shot cam, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of them. I love mine. Um, compared to the Tacticam, it's a hands down better camera. And uh, I've heard some people argue it. It's just wrong. Sorry. I mean, your opinion is wrong. Um, these are great cameras. The work that they put in for you is just unbelievable. And I'm guessing the folks who say Tacticam is better, they've never had one of these. They've only had Tacticam. They just like to spend less money. I get it. These are expensive, but when you compare them head to head, Shotcam takes a cake every single time. Hope this helped, guys. We'll see you out there. Have a good one.